the big Merle, stop it. Stop. This is pumpkin spice spooky Halloween bagels. I got these in Dunn's. They smell so strong of pumpkin spice. And um, we're going to taste them now. And um, oh, look at the little spookies on it. Cute. It's our spooky front door. Spooky. Steve has to cut the bushes. But we got this in Tika Max last year, wasn't it? Was it last year? Yeah, I think it was last year. What? Yeah, exactly. And it's Joanna Parker. And I absolutely love it. We have like two other ones you can see there that we're going to just put up for now. And then replace when time is needed. But this is so beautiful. Glow away, Steve. If only. Glow away. Hello, hello, hello. So I'm going to do my makeup. I went for washing my face and it like took it out of me. I don't know what the hell. <laughs> I'm going to do my makeup because I want to film a video today. Um, it was so dull, dull the whole day. Of course it was. For the day when I actually want to start filming. Um, and it's gotten even worse now, but I have my lighting, so <laughs> I'll obviously use it. So I'm going to be filming some Halloween hauls today. I'm going to do my makeup. Um, I already got rid of my eyebrows, which um, I'm looking forward to doing them because they were very grown out, so I shaved the ends of them. I also can't wait to hide this because... Oh my god, it's so annoying and it's really showing itself now because I washed my face. There's hairs on me everywhere from my eyebrows. Anyway, I also want to try out these glitters. These glitters are important because I want to wear them at the end of the month for a wedding I'm going to. And I want to make sure that they're good and, you know, that they're good. I don't have anything in mind what I'm doing with my makeup other than foundation, eyebrows, then I think I'm just going to get an orange and I'm going to go all orange and maybe some purple under my eye and then the glitter on top and leave it at that because if I do much more I don't I don't think I'm able <laughs> today um, and I want to get filming too but the lighting's not too bad obviously there's a glare in my glasses I think for the filming of the hauls I don't think I'm going to wear my glasses just because it is annoying seeing the glare so much. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna start with my foundation. Now I was gonna use my usual foundation, but I do have this. So I didn't really use this as much. This is the KVD Good Apple Skin Perfecting Foundation Balm in light 04. So um, this will also be pretty pale, I think. I've only used it like once or twice, not that much. So I said, uh, I said, I. So I said I'd use it. Um, I will have to set it though with something. And I absolutely hate most of the powders I have. The best one I have is the Rimmel one. I do have a NYX one. Did I get rid of it? I don't know. I hated that NYX one so much. But this is just translucent um, Rimmel one. And it's a lot better than anything I've really used if I'm honest. Oh, I do have this one. This is a Becca one, but there's kind of shimmer in it. And um, I kind of want to save it for, you know, good times. This is just mainly me just throwing on some stuff. Anyway, and I have to use a primer. I might go with this Smashbox one. Um, it's just like a little one. I'll go do that and I'll come back to you. So I've done my base. I hope it's okay. It looks okay to me anyway. Um, that foundation is really nice. It does cover fairly well. I didn't try to hide my spot much because I think I'm just going to like put a mark on it so that it looks like a beauty spot. Um, the best way is to hide um, any form of pimples or spots. So now I want to go heavy with the orange all over my face. Oh, I forgot I have this. This is the Avatar collection I got. I really need to do my makeup more um, because I have, I have such lovely things. I want to show them off. Um, okay, I might go with this orange that's in here. It's my go-to. I can kind of mix it with the yellow or the reds or make it darker, make it lighter, whatever kind of you need to do. But I'm just going to 
I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just using this Real Techniques brush. I'm pretty sure this might be a foundation or something brush. I don't or buffing one or something. And then just dot it right on the edge here. And you wanna just go crazy. Go crazy and blend it. This is just what I do when, and then you wanna bring it down here so that it's like a blush and an eyeshadow in one. It's basically like that. And then I'm just gonna build it up a bit more here and I'll come back to you then. I look absolutely mental. Okay, I promise this will come together. Um, I'm gonna try some of the glitter now. So I'm thinking like this one for like inside, like on my lid and then some of this outward, outside and then this under the eye. I'm going to use like a glitter primer but I'm gonna use my finger to put it on my eye because I don't really have a brush at the moment. I will clean my glitter brush that I have um, and try it another day then just to make sure it works with the brush too. But I think, sorry, this will be handy with my fingers is what I'm trying to say. So I'm just gonna like pat some of this all over the inside of my eye and up a bit. I'm not really going to be precise with this. I'm just going to let the glitter go wherever it wants to go. So just patting that out in the edges. I'm going to do one eye at a time as well because I it'll dry probably. Anyway, here we go. Okay, I'll use a different finger. I'll try that off and I'll use this finger as well. Though. I'm nervous. This is the glitter. Let's go oh wow oh it's so soft what the hell oh <gasps> look at that wow okay now on the eye oh wow oh holy crap that looks fantastic what wow. wow um that looks a hell of a lot nicer than i thought it was gonna be my god okay i need to dip again that is incredible Oh wow, I hope there isn't too much fallout. I kind of like I had to do my um, foundation beforehand. Oh my god, that is intense. I'm so sorry if the camera was weird when I bent down. I'm just gonna lock that now, okay. Oh, I'm thinking of just putting it everywhere, like honestly. Anywhere it wants to go, just mind my eyebrow because I still have to do my eyebrows. Um, but wow, that is incredible. Okay, I'm definitely coming down with the cheek, down the cheek here with that. Now this is, I've got no primer on here and it's still sticking. I'm going to use it like a highlight. Oh, wow. Incredible. Oh, incredible. I look insane. Um, I apologize that I don't look a bit more together. Oh wait, I forgot to put the stuff on the other eye hang on um this is the nyx glue i will show you now in a second and it's really good it's a glitter glue like i think even like this glitter doesn't need it but even if it doesn't need it i think it's that just extra protection is really great and it's really nice it's this one um i just got it like on a whim kind of one of the days Wow. Okay, it's awkward to do it with this finger. I'm gonna have to switch fingers. Wow, that's really coming off too. Like, there's not much left on my finger. Well, this might be a new favorite freaking. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to buy all the colors. Holy shit. It looks so nice. Okay, I'm gonna go now and I'll do my eyebrows. And then we'll see does it look a bit better. And then we'll do the purple under the eyes too. Because I don't think I have a lot left to do now. I think that's kind of all I wanted to do with my makeup today. Just like a simple Halloween look. Oh wait, I did have these lashes that I wanted to try. I don't know whether I want to try them. No, I'll try these another day and I'll do it with some kind of plain makeup. Um, So I'm not sticking it directly on glitter. And just let myself practice with them. And then I'll try them with a look like this another day. Okay, now what am I doing? Yeah, okay, <laughs> eyebrows. 
so it needed some eyeliner badly and while I was doing that I put some glitter in my inner corner and by accident I smudged over here and messed up so then I drew a little bash and it was so hard um anyone that can draw crap on their face my god is amazing I cannot do it so I might just define the eyeliner a little bit and then I'm going to put on the purple so my advice for doing eyeliner over glitter is just to do it really small and slowly uh, you know that's the best you can do really and it's just not gonna look perfect over glitter because glitter has chunks obviously so that's the best I can do there and now I'm gonna put some glitter um, underneath my eyes I still don't know if the wing just needs to be like a lot bigger they look a bit small don't they Hmm. Okay, that's a bit better. There's something unfinished looking about and I'm, I'm just not too sure what it is. But we're going to continue with the purple under my eyes. So I'm not going to put anything under it to hold it because I don't want it too precise or anything. I kind of want to just dab it on a little bit. Oh! Some glitter fell. Oh wow. What if I like brought it? I don't know if I brought it all the way down what it would look like if I was like crying um, purple. I don't know if that would ruin the look though. It's coming down onto the other one. Yeah, I love it. I know everyone's probably not going to like it but I just really want to try this glitter and I do love that I have to say. Ooh. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, it would look great with lashes, but I just don't know if I want to do lashes right now. <laughs> I was doing my lips and then I just went, ee. <laughs> That's better. Super annoyed with myself because I was going to do lashes and I cannot find eyelash glue. I found some and it's all dried up and I'm raging. So this is as much as I can do and I feel like it really needs some lashes, doesn't it? I really want to do some nice lashes, but look, I'm going to get myself finished, um, do the rest of my makeup and, I don't know, do the rest of my clothes and stuff. And I'll try the eyelashes another day when I freaking get some glue raging. So I'm just getting ready to film, but my setup is so trippy, I'm going to show it to you now. I have literally, <laughs> I can see myself in three screens right now because I'm recording and because I can see myself. I'll show you now, hang on. Look at me. <laughs> it looks so weird. Oh yeah, there we go. So I managed to connect my iPad up to my um, camera so I can see myself more clear and it's on the tripod. And you can see my lovely mess of everything and um these are what i'm gonna be hauling so i'm gonna go do it because it is late now and i'm hungry Ugh. i'm just finishing up now I'm gonna take off my top and stuff but yay i'm gonna get some food so we watched exorcist tree what was what was it called just exorcist tree they didn't have a name. Oh wait, the music is playing. It probably I'll get copyrighted for that now. I think it's all right. <laughs> no, seriously, you get copyrighted for the fucking littlest fucking things. Um, we watched Exorcist Tree. It was really weird. Um, didn't know what was going on for most of it. No, it was pretty decent. Did you like it, Steve? He was very good. Um, and we there was some some Chucky references in there. <laughs> I'm going to finish up. I have to like tie the mess I made and take off all of this. I don't know how I'm going to take this off. It's so glittery. It's starting to get a bit itchy now, like just because it's on my skin for so long. Steve, like my makeup you did today it was nice, yes? Yeah. Yes. 
Yeah. I go do my business. <sighs> so hey everyone, it is later. Um, I am wrecked. <laughs> I've just been editing um, this video to get it ready to go up tomorrow. So I am thinking of maybe not vlogging tomorrow, giving myself a break because I think I will be pretty tired tomorrow probably. Um, jeez, I like hid the spot with that but I think like the spot is starting to like get angry now so I have to take all this makeup off but um, yeah I might take tomorrow just to break or put up a haul video instead just um, to give myself um, a little rest day. But I thought that I'd show you what we got in Carrick Dunn because I can't actually do like just a haul with these two items because it wouldn't be long enough for anything, any video that I would do because it's just two items. And seeing as I did vlog when I was in store um, yesterday, I just thought I'd show you. Um, they had such lovely items. I wish I could have gotten everything, but they were quite expensive. And like, I mean, I don't have room for everything, obviously. I got this really super cute little doggy. I think he reminds me a lot of Merle because we did um, put Merle in a ghost costume. I can't remember if it was last year or the year before, but um, <laughs> Merle wasn't very happy about it. But um, we did get some great pictures out of it and I just love this spooky little doggy. It's really cute and you can see his little tail back here and his little ears. And this was $7.96, so that was on offer, 20% um, off. And the little tag here says Mountain Lodge, whoever that is, but I um, absolutely love him. Definitely going to be displaying him. He can go over here. Oh, some of this, don't look too much because some of this is coming in the hall um, to, that I have to, that I filmed today, that I have to get up. And the other item that I got was, was this beautiful little house. Oh, I'm obsessed. Oh, I'm obsessed. Isn't that absolutely stunning? So there was another little house kind of like this that was a pumpkin, wasn't it? And there was just it was some lovely little bits, but this one really, really stood out to me. It's a witchy, cottagey house with obviously with a massive witch's hat. And the part of the witch's hat is a window, but it also has a chimney. And look, it's got a little door. It's got little pumpkins around it, but like it even has a little area here to the side where all of the little um, hats are being hung. How cute is that? And like there's even detail on the back, like just of the house and everything. It's so cute and it lights up. It has a little light in there that you probably can't see. You can see a little bit. In the dark it'll probably be better, but it's just that standard kind of red green orangey light um i didn't it didn't matter to me if it was going to light up or not this was 15.96 so i mean that is a lot i think that's a lot it's a lot for something so small but it is beautiful it is unusual and um uh with this and the dog i think came to about 23 euro or something like that and i think that's worth it um, but I, I wish I was able to buy everything in it, but it's just too expensive. I will keep an eye towards the end of October and see if they put anything on sale. But, um, this is just very unusual too. It's really, really beautiful. There's a lovely smell off it. Um, it's just the shop has a really nice smell. That's my two little items that I got. Um, really, really do love them. Um, I'm going to have to find somewhere nice. Oh, I'd love to make a lovely witchy area. Anyway, I wish I had just I wish I had more space. <laughs> um, yeah, that's gonna be all for me because I'm very tired now and I'm gonna wrap this all up. Like I said, I'll be here tomorrow or it won't be. I'm not too sure. I'll see what I'm doing. But I will be back Saturday because today is Thursday, tomorrow's Friday. Yeah, Saturday. Okay, I'm gonna go now and I will see everyone, not tomorrow, but the next day <laughs> in my next video. Bye.